What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and this video itself is a little behind the scenes and making of my short film for the end of year, my advanced diploma final assignment. It's the short film that we started writing in semester one for writing scripts classes. So I'm still tidying up the script a little bit because I've had to go through a few changes. The initial script I had was something which I could go on for 30 minutes or something. So I had to kind of narrow down all these ideas. Yesterday I went out scouting, location scouting. So I'll put some footage over the top of this itself. Um, I took some photos and everything there to see if the location works. I'm going to go back there another day and then do a practice shoot itself for some of the scenes. I got a one of the props which I ordered because my short film does have weaponry in it and uh, just to be safe and everything I ordered a very cheap but um, it works for what I need. This little prop knife here because it's retractable and it's safe. Some flimsy plastic but when you see it in film you won't be able to tell the difference so I save money where I can. Was I initially had these two pieces of wood that were joined together as one that way. Uh, and I've cut them in half so that way it's even even and I'm um, using them as the tombstones in the film So you would see in the film. This is where uh, the gravestone is uh, I use wood obviously so that way it's something which is practical in the film chiseling out the name itself now um, So it looks really rough and it really works in the world that we're in this was gonna be the wife's grave Because um, I was gonna have that in there. Maybe I'll, by the time it comes out it'll change again It'll be the wife's grave there as well, but for now right now at the time of filming this, this is going to be a backup just in case I mess something up here with this Elay one. So yeah, let's go. So I knocked in the last thing to do, make the O there, uh, so that's Eli Russo. Um, I was initially going to put a date underneath as well, but then seeing how difficult it was to just get this done and I already stupidly wrote it in pen and I realized, wait a second, I can't erase pen. <laughs> and so I tried going over the pen as much as possible, but it was really hard because I just sketched the R, this Russo part really sketched it, so some of the R, S's. Uh, a little iffy there, uh, but nonetheless, I'll try to put a date underneath, um, uh, but we'll see how we go. So what I'm doing now is, let me just quickly turn this down, I'm working through my storyboard for the um, Russo short itself. I changed a few things around because couldn't find an actor for the father so I'm making it now two brothers and everything. I've started on the storyboard here, I've done a couple pages and I'm gonna do some more. So I thought you know this is my making of some storyboards for the short. Oh man it is so tiring because there's so many shots. I got a shot list here, it's got some inventory here. Um, just in case I think of any extra items I need I just chuck it in the inventory and everything. And uh, yeah so carrying on with the shot uh, storyboard now. So um, now I actually do have a makeup artist um, on board. Um, hopefully she does confirm. But otherwise I was gonna use these to kind of <laughs> make my zombie. And then some bloody scars. And I'd use these as like bite marks or something like that. And um, yeah, so that came in today. So slowly progressing. I um, tried calling for film permits today. Um, the person's not in. Um, so I'll have to do that another time. Uh, tomorrow they'll give me a call back. Working on some sound effects. So normally you do this in post-production and stuff, but since I have some time, 
um, because of lockdown I'm at home still and I got some documents I need to fill out but I can't I'm waiting on actors and locations all that kind of stuff um, so then I take these sounds and then individually I, like, I went through a bunch and I searched listen to what they sound like and I'm like okay cool got a nice whip sound a thud and then I was like but there's missing like that that sound from when you hit something like a human kind of skin so then I went and got this this little like it's a cement sound and it makes it feel like you're not just hitting like the wall or like a lamp or something you're actually hitting um a zombie <laughs> again carrying on with this bts itself today i'm going down to Laylor uh, with my mom so we're going to look at prop guns we're going to also look for a little 85 notebook uh, which you're going to be seeing in the short and everything as a little drawing book as well this morning i spent some time uh writing up some lighting notes uh because i'm cinema the cinematographer for will shoot so um his short love and drugs so i just wrote some stuff up there i'll send it to him next week when we meet up in person and everything I've just gotten off a call with uh, the crew and stuff like that. Also talked to one of the teachers about changing, you know, filming dates and everything like that because of the recent lockdown we're in. So that's a quick update there. So I'm just changing around documents here and there, rearranging the shot list because I have to push back a week. Um, luckily, I did have a backup date. Uh, so then now what I'll do, I'll just add in, um, I'll just have to email the councils and uh, the police notification and everything like that. Next week, I'll just uh, let them know. And then, uh, if sadly, that does take up my backup day. So then, if anything, what I'll do is, uh, um, after filming, if any of these days get pushed back once again, maybe it's because of bad weather or something, um, I'll just have to then uh, film, uh, book a new, put a new permit through and everything for another filming day and everything. And I can figure that out in September. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. <laughs> yep, all right, yeah. Okay. yeah, so hopefully it's... You know, we the magic of film. If you know, if it's difficult to play or anything like that, we have a way around it and everything. So there's no stress there. Uh, but just good to know that you guys got that. And um, I can. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I wish we had that piano from town. I can't lug that up here. It's too heavy. Yeah, I know. It was really cool, actually. Because <laughs> 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 the thing is, I'm double counted, and so I was like, what if I do that? I'm going to do some practice shooting at the hill itself, uh, get into the rhythm of things so they know exactly how we're gonna do everything and then I can quickly edit together this little mock shoot itself. Otherwise, I'm also gonna have a script run through later tonight with the cast, so we'll do that and then uh, we'll get shooting later this week. Be like. I can't. Okay. This is... Holy shit. That looks like. That looks so intense. <laughs> so, we are done with the uh, scouting, the practicing, and everything like that. I have 
finished putting together a little edit. Now that brings this part of the behind the scenes to a close, we are done with the pre-production stuff. I am working on uh, the schedule and everything because we may have to make a few changes because of the weather, but fingers crossed, I'll check it again now, I'll do that this afternoon, send out all the messages and sort all that out. But fingers crossed, tomorrow we start shooting and we'll get the behind the scenes of the production itself. So look forward to that. Thank you for joining me on this pre-production little BTS video itself. Leave a like, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe for more content coming soon. And until next time, I'll see us.